Hello, Nuggets. So I have um, a reading tonight. Uh, I mentioned it in a previous video today that I do something called Second Draft Delay. I've only been to two meetings, so this is my third. I submitted something last week before we went away for our trip to London, and I thought it took about four weeks, at least. I, they don't really have a time in it. I didn't know if it was good enough, but I submitted my play, or rather 10 pages of my play, and I thought it would take a while, but they got back to me right away and said we're going to read it next week, So, and that is tonight. So I've got it all copies. I've got all the copies ready. It's only a two-hander. Um, it's called Beast. Um, but so there are three people reading. One reads the sa stage directions, of which there are very few. But one reads the stage directions um, and then two characters. Um, and then I've got to introduce it. And I'm kind of nervous. Um, I don't get nervous very much. I have, because of the... I've just been fortunate in the career, the kind of jobs I've had have required me to do certain things in front of people um you know speeches or talks or be the focus of attention um a lot so i don't usually get that nervous i have tools to deal with it you know i can lessen the the importance of it i know i'll be able to let it go and all that kind of stuff doesn't make me a good actor though i don't when it comes to acting or performing i've tried it i get very nervous and i don't like the feeling and um, because i don't like the feeling honestly it's why i'm not an actor because I just I can't stand that feeling. I don't like the nerves. And tonight I'm nervous. And it's weird because they don't give you notes at this second draft. You literally just turn up. They do five of them a night and there's a music act. And the five, they read five pieces, all of them ten pages. Um, and they cast them on the day. You read them out. Everyone says, eh, well done. Applause. Next. That's it. There's no feedback whatsoever. So the purpose of it is just to get out of the writer's head, to let the writer go and just like not have it all in this one little prison inside their own mind. This is what it sounds like when someone cold reads it. And it's cold reading. So the actors haven't seen it until you turn up on the day. So it, won't, it also won't be that good. There are some great cold readers, obviously. I don't want to imply that. But, but there's no work on it. It's not rehearsed. So they're going to get things wrong or they're going to have an interpretation that hasn't been worked with a director, you know. But um, I'm still on the fence about how useful that is, to have a reading with no notes. Because I know that sometimes notes can be really bad. Sometimes notes can be incredibly insightful. And just, you know, I've had notes before that have completely changed the material. I'm like, oh, yes, I need to. I got one for this play, actually. And I'm still working on the change. I got one from a friend of ours, a director named Scott Cummings, who gave me a note. And I'm like, oh, my God, yeah, I've got to rewrite the play. Um, not from scratch, but I've got to make changes. But tonight, I won't be getting any notes. So I think it's a very polite audience. So I think I'll get applause and I'll get a couple of people afterwards going, well done, you know. But it, it won't really mean that much. It will just make me feel a little bit better. But I'm wondering if... I can see how for some writers, this kind of exposure is very important to start developing a thick skin, to, to get beyond that. But I think, surprisingly, I already have a thick skin with my writing. So I don't know how useful it's going to be. And yet I'm nervous. So who... I, I, I don't know. I think I think I'm more nervous because it's a brand new group and I none of these people know me I've, I've said hello to them a couple of times you know and uh, I'm, I'm talkative I think I'm nice in public and I, I I I appear to be much more gregarious and social than I really am which is why going out exhausts me because I put on this act and they're like that guy's fun and then they never see me again because <laughs> I'm just I go away into my little hole and this is more of an ongoing exposure of potentially developing friendships and social rela relationships. Um, so maybe I'm nervous about exposing part of my real work to people that I know I'm going to see again. That could be it. You know, when you stand up in front of a group of people, I'm not nervous. But I also kind of know, hey, I'm not going to see any of these people again. If I knew that that was just an ongoing part of the work, I think I'd be nervous. You know, I had to do when I, I wrote the story for... Call of Duty Black Ops, the first Black Ops. And I had to pitch the story. Once it got approved by the executive producer, I had to then pitch that story with a pitch deck, like a, a PowerPoint presentation, to the entire company. Um, I wasn't nervous. I wasn't nervous at all about that. I didn't, I didn't know if that story was great. I knew it had been approved, which made it easier. But I didn't know if the story was great. But I wasn't that nervous. And now I am. Hmm. Who knows? Um, 
so this is a little writing um, video. That's what this is about because another thing happened. So I read a script. Laura's working on a piece. She's got to go in for an audition for it. So we worked on it together. I read the script and um, it inspired me to write down this idea that I've had. I have a problem with having too many ideas. Well, everyone has that problem and not finishing them. But I had an idea for a, for a movie I could pitch, I think, to Netflix that might fit right into the kind of movie they want to make. Um, it's not that expensive. Netflix don't seem to be that worried about money, but it's always a benefit. It's like, hey, this is pretty cheap to make. The problem is whenever I write a new idea or I have a new idea, I have a process I go through, which is I write the log line, and then I write the synopsis, and then I write the beat sheet or sometimes beat sheet before synopsis, and then I do it on index cards, and then I arrange the index cards, then I see the movie, then I write the movie. The problem with that is it's very slow, and my writing is too slow, and I'm not a slow person. Once I'm writing, I'm good, but that whole process I feel like I may have developed for myself to slow me down, and to find excuses, and to do stuff that I can consider quote-unquote work, which it really isn't. So with this new idea, the one I've that's been in my head for a couple of weeks, but now... As, as is a true idea that I want to write. I think I'm going to write the script without doing anything. I've got the log line. I, c I can't write anything without a log line. I've got the log line to keep referring back to saying, what was the point? What's the theme? What am I doing? But that's it. I'm going to start writing the script tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, in an ideal world, I will get a draft out in a week. That's, what, that's where I would like to be, is have an idea and have a script in a week. And I know that sounds ridiculously fast. Not a finished script just to get a script, just to say, okay, I have a body of work here. So if I have a conversation with someone and they say, what, other, what else have you got? I can say, oh, I have this idea, it's set on a subway train and this and blah, 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 and then lay it out and I've already got the script, right? And if they say, can I see the script? I'll be like, yeah, give me a week <laughs> so I can go clean it up and make it better, you know? But I wanna get into that mode and my current method of writing, that, that methodical approach of, Log line, beat sheet, synopsis, expand, expanded synopsis, index cards, then write, is way too slow. The turnaround needs to be much faster. I need to be writing three, four scripts a year, not one every year, if I'm lucky, you know. So uh, I think I'm going to start on that tomorrow. Uh, I wrote the log line today, and then just see if I can get into it. I also need to increase my, my focus level. It's dropped dramatically over the last few years. I just... I start writing and then after an hour I'm starting to get distracted and that's not enough. I got to I got to write for longer. You know, I'm I'm thinking of other things and I've got to get that back. I've got to get that focus back. So I'm going to try it with this one. If I give myself a week and say you need to finish that draft in a week, hopefully I'll do it. I won't just ignore that and think it's not, you know, that deadline I set myself therefore it doesn't matter. That's what I need to overcome. All right, it was a quick one. Just thought I'd give you an update on that. And then uh, maybe an update tomorrow to say, tell you how the reading went. But I can tell you right now, everyone liked it. They all applauded. That's it. It won't mean that much, unfortunately. You know, maybe someone will come up to after me and say, that was the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. You should never write again. That would be progress.